everyone and welcome back to another video so we're about to go i'm gonna run and do thrifting and eric's gonna run errands but i just wanted to kind of talk about the premise of this video first so i'm sure as you guys have seen there's a lot of people on youtube now doing like thrifting fall 2021 trends and i kind of want to do that but at the same time, I'm just not really like a trends person. I'm like, I like looking at trends, but I also just really like being comfortable. And I know that trends can really push you out of your comfort zone. And I think in some instances that's been true for me, but I also don't like buying things that I know I'm not gonna wear. And so what I kind of did was I researched like, I do love looking at all the fashion shows and stuff like that, and I just admire all of those things so much. So I went through and I kind of looked at what was going to be trending and what was going to be popular, and I picked the trends that I thought realistically I would wear and I would want to, like, implement into my everyday style this fall and winter. And so that's kind of the way that I did it, so that I'm not, like, buying things that I literally know I'm not going to wear just for the sake of trying out the trend. And trends are, I mean, everybody says this when they make a video, but it's up to you, like, wear what you want to wear, who cares in the end. But it is fun to kind of, like, look and see what you can find. I think I'm going to show you, I created a little Pinterest board, and I'm going to show you the Pinterest board that I made. And then I'm just going to talk through, like, the main trends that I want to look for. And then we're going to go to a couple thrift stores and see if we can find them. And then... I will probably come back. I don't know if I'll do it today because my hair is really greasy and I don't want to have greasy hair when I try on all the cute outfits. So I might film it like tomorrow, but I'll film a try on for you guys. Okay, so I was just looking through my notes that I took on the trends that I want to look for. And firstly, something that I've seen a lot that's kind of a continuation of the spring and summer are just like really bright, saturated colors. So like solid, super bright knits, like sweaters and things like that. Um, and then also like really bright and vibrant patterns. So like thicker, bigger patterns, less of like um, little like floral stuff and more of large graphic prints. So I'm definitely gonna look for that. And I think those are things that I'll actually wear. I obviously am gonna look for blazers and jackets, um, but kind of more specifically within that realm, liner jackets and quilted jackets are very popular. They were really popular last year and they're popular again this year, which makes me really happy because I like them a lot and I actually already have a couple. So I'll probably look for them anyways because I just love them. And that kind of bleeds into like the military-esque vibe, like very structured um, army greens and then like jumpsuits are really in as well. And kind of more of that like work wear, so like military and actual like um, work wear, so like chore coats, Carhartt stuff. Sorry, lightning's really crazy. Um, so all that stuff. And then I personally would really like to, I've gotten super into wearing dresses this summer and I would really like to try and find more ways to wear dresses in the fall. So I'll just be looking for that stuff too. And I think in all of it, kind of just following the vein of like, I wanna look for stuff that I know I'm going to wear. And so trying to look for stuff that's on trend, but also just like realistically I'm gonna wear. Um, and that's kind of what I'm going for. So I will show you the um, Pinterest board. And that's like my inspiration. And it's all from either runway shows of fall for fall, winter 2021, or like, you can literally search on Pinterest, like fall 2021 fashion trends. Um, 
And so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. And we'll see what we can find. And I'll talk you guys through it as I'm in the thrift store. And if I see something that I feel like is really trendy, but I don't want to buy, I'll point it out to you as well. So let's do it. Also, our coffee shop just launched our fall menu. And I'm drinking the first pumpkin spice latte of the season. Also, my nail is super gross, but... I know, it's a little tiny guy, because I can't do too much caffeine, but it's so good. Hey, y'all. Actually, the bins open at 10, and it's 10.17, so I'm here pretty early, and I'm hoping that it's not too busy, because it's been so crazy lately. This is just, I know I go here a lot, but guys, this is just the best place to find old stuff. So many of the Goodwills here take out all the old stuff before they put it out. All right, headed in to see what we can find. Wish me luck. I'm gonna manifest some fall stuff, guys. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna get these because they are too big for me. But the color is really great, and then the like style of it is that very like carpenter workwear esque kind of like structured style. So I really like that. And then I've got this, which I also don't know if I'm gonna actually purchase, but I want to show it to you guys because it's kind of that military feel. So it's got these like gold buttons. Silver, but the color and then like the structure of it is really military, although I don't think I'm gonna get it. And then I just found this little sweatshirt, which I also don't know if I'm gonna get. I thought it was kind of cute. It's just like bleeding a little bit. And then I'm definitely going to be getting these like vintage shorts that I found. Levi's. Although it's not necessarily what I'm looking for. I just thought they were really cool. And I found this little cardigan. So we'll see what else I can find. Nothing super trendy yet. such good luck today. What the heck? This was the perfect day to do this. So these polo like rugby shirts are really in and I just found this old J. Crew one. What the heck? I love it. I'm so excited. That's like definitely a trend that I wasn't expecting to find and I found it. So I'm gonna try and look for some shoes but this is not seem like there's very ooh that's kind of cool. These fit me. There's not much, so we'll see what we can do with the shoes. We might have to go into the retail store to kind of look more for that stuff. Okay, I have just hopped over to the retail store and I'm gonna look through here and see what I can find in the retail store. Mainly looking for like shoes and dresses, I think, because I haven't found that in the bins. So let's we'll see what we can find.
Okay, so I love this little yellow chair. It's a little bit of stain. I'm gonna quickly browse through the shoes. I always like looking through the men's long sleeves. Time to look through the jackets. This is, I don't know why there's like a shirt under this, but I have a picture on my Pinterest board, which is like very similar to this blazer. Just like a bright green. I might try this on and see what it looks like. Okay, so I found this jacket, and it's silk, and then it has these really cool, like, quilting on it, which I think is really fun and very in style, and then it also has such a like, super great saturated colors. I don't know how much I would wear it, so I'm going to try it on first, but I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so I just left the bins and I got some good stuff and now we are headed to the Goodwill on University and I'm just going to keep looking there and hopefully I'll be able to talk a little bit more in that Goodwill. It was really crowded, the bins, and I couldn't really show that much of the process, but I did find some good stuff. I think I'll probably do like a full haul of everything I got and then I'll put like some outfits together, so... Anyways, yeah, we're going to the University Goodwill now to see what we can find. All right, our last stop of the day. We just ran into the restore, but we didn't find anything good. So our last stop of the day at the Goodwill on University. Oh, I'm looking a little haggard. We're going to go in and see what we can find. I'm trying to decide if I really like it or not. It kind of gives me like spooky vibes. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. through the blazers.
this is kind of on trend. Really cute colors. It has some pleating. I thought I would give you a quick overview of the stuff that I found in here. So I found this plaid skirt, this chocolate brown leather blazer, which is a lot better color in person actually, but it's pretty cool. This like creamy vintage sweater. I think I might actually get this one. I just love the texture of it. It's a really interesting texture. And then this vintage like work shirt which I think is kind of cool then this vintage sweater which is a really great color and then lastly this vintage Brooks Brothers cardigan so I'm not sure what I'm actually gonna get yet but I will pick through it and then I'll let you guys know in the haul portion my pile of goods plus Eric found this really cute cookbook. So, excited about that. Okay, so I am back from thrifting. And I think I'm just going to hold up all the pieces that I found and show them to you first. And then I'll probably end up doing a full, like, this hair on my hat. Not like a full try-on, but just like a try-on of some of the pieces once I wash them all because I don't want to wear them before I wash them. So I found a ton of stuff. So let's get into it. The first stuff that I'm going to show you, the first thing I'm going to show you are these two plaid like blazer slash jackets that I found. Well, they're not really blazers. They're more like shackets. So there's this one and this is vintage from Sears and it's just really old you can see the little vintage sears tag very cute and i just really liked the color of it and it goes with like the classic plaid patterns and just shackets like i talked about before being very popular and so this one's similar this one is i thought it said woolrich but it's actually a thing called woodland and it's a little bit more of like a brighter pattern but it's got that quilted interior and then the like plaid exterior. They feel, they both feel like very warm and cozy. So excited about those. Then next I found some denim. So I didn't talk about this before, but sorry, I'm like bending down to grab this stuff. So I didn't talk about this before, but a trend for this fall is like dad jeans, oversized denim, baggy denim. And I found a couple pairs of denim things that go with that. I actually found two pairs of shorts. So I found these two pairs of pretty similar Levi's 505 vintage shorts. And I just thought they were so cool. And I know they're shorts, so it doesn't really make that much sense. But they were just too good of a wash to like not get them. So yeah, I pulled up this pair I picked up and then I got this other pair, which is similar. Um, same thing, vintage Levi's. These are also five, these are actually 550s. So the other ones are 505 and these are 550s. So very cute, love them. And then I did end up finding a pair of kind of like baggy dad-esque jeans that are also carpenter jeans. They do have a hole in the butt, but these are Dickies, which is kind of a popular brand right now. And these are probably like, not super old, but I would say like early 2000s. They have been bleached up. I don't know if that was like intentional, like somebody did that on purpose and then like regretted it or it just happened. But I think it's kind of cool. I think these will definitely be like, baggy in the leg for me and probably pretty loose in the waist but i could take them in and i love just that they're that carpenter style with like the extra pockets and kind of like the belt loop thing and i think i could probably pretty easily patch that hole so that is all of the denim that i found 
And here, I'll show you guys this. Unfortunately, I only found one dress and it's kind of weird. It's not really like exactly what I was looking for, but I love the silhouette of it. And the color definitely is like that bright saturated color, just maybe not what you would expect for a dress. So it is this very like flowy pink dress. And it's pretty sheer. I would probably need to wear a slip with it, but I really just love the shape of it. And I love this skirt it was like very frilly and flowy. So I thought this was really cute. I mean, it's definitely old. It's 100% polyester, but I think it would be fun to wear. I mean, I don't know exactly how I'll wear it. Whatever I do, I'll definitely have to like pin it at some point because this V is crazy. But yeah, that was the one dress that I found. So only one dress, but lots more like outerwear and sweaters and stuff that I'll get into. So next let's do a couple pieces of outerwear that I found. So I found this jacket and this is kind of like very collegiate feeling to me, vintage like windbreaker type thing very oversized but I just really liked the material of it and I just thought it was like a fun like bright colors with like bold stripe and then very collegiate feeling so I really liked that that was one of the outdoor pieces I got and then I also got this blazer which I'm really excited about sorry my cat is meowing in the background um but it is this beautiful 100% camel hair blazer and it is in such good condition. Like I cannot believe how good of condition it's in. Not only is it, I'm gonna put it on quickly. I'm gonna shower after this anyway, so. But not only is it um in great condition, but it's such a good color. And I just like, it fits really well. Like it's oversized, but it's not too oversized. And it checks off the blazer box, checks off the like fitted kind of tailored stuff that we're gonna see going into the fall. And then it also just has like a very like kind of academia, like professorish look. So I really am excited about this. I don't have anything that's quite this nice and fits quite this well in this style of blazer. So I'm very excited about that. And now I think most of the rest of the stuff I have is like tops and sweaters. So we will get into that. Oh, I forgot. I actually have one more pair of pants. So these are, and I don't think these are vintage, but I just really liked the way that they looked. They are a corduroy carpenter pant, which are just like so in right now, these carpenter pants. So you can see how they've got the big back pockets and this kind of like extra pocket thing on this side. And they're like this dark gray corduroy. Yeah, and I don't think they're like that old, but I just think they're really cool. And a quite a fun look for fall. And corduroy is always like a nice fall material. So now we're into the tops and sweaters. So first I found a couple vintage t-shirts. Um, I found this one. I always love like local vintage t-shirts like t-shirts from like local high schools and stuff like that I don't know why I just think they're so funny and so I found this little guy which is just like a vintage Vero Beach soccer it's definitely older I don't know I just love it so much so got that and then I got this which I kind of showed earlier but it is this original structure blue workwear Henley and I just loved how soft and worn it is. And like, it's clearly really old. I don't know. I just loved that. So those are the t-shirts that I got. So the first sweater I found at the bins and it is this 100% cashmere LL Bean little cream sweater. And sweaters are obviously always on trend for fall, but I mean, so I just picked up some sweaters. So there's this little guy and then this one, which would have been perfect had it been my size, it would have totally gone with the vibe that I've been seeing in the runway. Um, it's so tiny because it got shrunk. Someone clearly put it in the dryer, but I was thinking my nephew could potentially wear it. 
How freaking cute is this? I mean, if this had been the right size, this would have been exactly the vibe that I was looking for. So look at that. <laughs> Rip to that, but still cute. And then I found two more, more like neutral sweaters. I really like the look of this one though. It's kind of this buttery yellow with these very like cinched in sleeves. And it's just so great. Like the V-neck, it feels very collegiate to me. Like you can pair it with a lot of stuff. So I liked that. And then I got this last sweater is um, this Brooks Brothers cardigan. And it's just that nice camel browns. Browns and like taupes and those colors have been really in for a while now. And I'm just also very into that. I love anything that's like oatmeal or brown colored. So I got that. And then the last thing that I got, actually second to last, um, I've been seeing these like kind of, um, what's the word? Like polo rugby shirts everywhere on social media and on the runway. And I was not expecting to find one, so I didn't even really talk about it. But I literally found like the coolest shirt, obsessed with the color, obsessed with the big stripes, like. It's J. Crew, probably from the 90s, early 2000s, and it's such a good oversized fit. I'm really excited about this. I was not expecting to find it, so very stoked about that. And then the last thing I found is actually an accessory, but it's this canvas tote bag. It's like this very kind of like canvasy material. It's really old, it's got snaps and it says Boston on it. And I just liked that big like graphic, feels very just like, ooh, Boston in the fall vibes. <laughs> so that is the last thing I found. I'm gonna go throw all of this stuff in the wash and then I think I will do maybe like a little styling portion where I style up my favorite pieces and show you how I wear them and all of that. So let's get this stuff cleaned. Okay guys, so I have styled up some of my favorite items from my thrift trip into outfits for you. So the first one, I styled up those like cargo, also my mirror isn't dirty, it's just in antique. So it has all these like speckles and stuff in it, but yeah, to clarify. Um, but anyways, I'm wearing the jacket that I got, the red and blue kind of like navy colored jacket with this like vintage sweatshirt underneath and then the vintage like or I don't know if these are vintage actually but the carpenter pants that I got um and these are actually a quite a bit too big for me so I'll have to have them like taken in but I just thought it was like a cute little kind of like very casual sweatshirt um combo with the jacket the pants shoes I rolled up the pants a little bit maybe a little bit too much and then I have this like vintage coach backpack because this seemed kind of like collegiate to me so this is the first little look okay so this is the next outfit that I put together and it is a pair of kind of like um these are vintage Levi's they're like a little bit looser in the leg but tighter in the um like thigh and then I paired it with the polo shirt that I got which I love so much and then I kept on the same sneakers and I did this like fake Gucci bag because I just thought it was kind of cute. And then I also got a um, bucket hat. I'm going to try it on. I don't know if I'm going to like the way that it looks, but we can try it. So the thing about this bucket hat is that it's just kind of like really big. I'm very into the whole bucket hat thing. I just don't know if this one is like quite it. So then this is my last outfit and I am wearing a pair of like looser dad style jeans, cowboy boots, a trench coat, and then I have the Boston bag that I found and thrifted because I just think that bag is like so cute. So I wanted to show you guys this option because I always love a good trench in the fall time, but I also brought a green liner jacket down similar to one that I would have been looking for or would have gotten had I found it so I'm going to try that one with this as well just so you can see what it looks like so now I put the liner jacket on 
And I almost like this even better, honestly. I just love the green color with the like brown sweater and the blue jeans and the cowboy boots. It's very cute. So this is definitely what I would have been looking for had I found it. I feel like it's very on trend. Um, I obviously already have this one and I love it, but I'm always looking for some if they like come in different colors and stuff like that, like a black one or a brown one would be really cool. So yeah, that is my last outfit that I put together. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll be back next week with another video. Bye.